This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Netflix. Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier Knows Best here. This is my review of the Elgato Game Capture HD. This little device will allow you to record the gameplay footage from your PlayStation or your Xbox and upload it to YouTube or do whatever you want to do with it. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the design and see the video quality you can get from this thing. And let's go ahead and start the review. Now let's first take a look at the design you can see this thing is very very small it basically fits in the palm of my hand and if you compare this to other devices that have the same type of um, capabilities to record gameplay footage this thing is the tiniest out of the bunch and so if you move around a lot or you just don't want to take that much space on your entertainment console setup uh, this thing is going to be great just for the design as we take a look at the front of the device, you'll find the HDMI in and also the AVN port. Now, the AVN is going to be used for the PlayStation 3 because Sony has uh, put their encryption on the HDMI to kind of stop you from recording um, stuff off the PS3, but you'll have to use the AV um, input for the PlayStation 3, and you can just use the HDMI for the Xbox. Then on the back, you'll find the HDMI out input, which will allow you to uh, plug the game capture into your HDTV to allow you to be able to record the footage on your computer, but also play the game on your TV at the same time. Then on the Right of that, you'll find the USB port, which you're going to be used to connect to your computer to enable the recording, but also too, since this thing is so small, it would actually be powered by the USB port, so you don't need to take up another outlet on your wall. And another good thing is that this device is USB power, so you don't need to plug it into the wall. You'll simply plug it into your computer via the USB cable to be able to not only um, watch or record the gameplay footage, but also to power this device. So it only takes you about a minute to get all the cables and stuff put in the right places where they need to be put and you're set to go. This is all it is. So I like that they're able to compress everything in this very small form factor, but still give you everything as far as the power cables and all that stuff that you need. And this thing is very nice design wise. And now I'm about to go ahead and give you a tour of the Game Capture HD software. Now I currently have this software running on my Mac, but it is available for the PC as well. It is absolutely free. You just download it from the company's website. And on the left hand side, we see we have the video feed coming in from whatever source you're going to be using. In this case, I have my Xbox 360 plugged in. And then on the right hand side, we have all the different settings um, that you can use to adjust your, your video capture. Now right here at the top, you hit this little settings button right here. You can adjust the settings uh, from, they have different presets for the PlayStation 3, Wii U, iPad iPad and iPhone. I will show you that in another video. You can hook this up thing, this thing hook up to an iPad or something like that and record a video off of it. And then if you hit this picture mode right here, you can adjust the brightness, the contrast, the saturation, and the hue. Then also uh, go to this audio tab here. You can adjust the settings a little bit with the audio. Now coming back to this main settings tab over here, um, you see you have the game audio. You, again, you can turn this up, you can turn this down as much as you want. And also a very cool thing that this software has is live commentary. So it can't record the audio from your gaming headset, but if you do have have a microphone plugged into your computer you can record your commentary alongside the video in the software at the same time so you don't have to edit and, and, and sync everything up in post especially for people who do a lot of uh, YouTube gameplay videos and things like this and then the software also is compatible with twitch.tv which is a live streaming service so if you log in with your account you can stream whatever game you're playing directly to twitch and people can watch you all across the world and it's that easy just log in and you're set to go and then you have some setting here to adjust the uh, the title and and all the information attacks and stuff like that about the game you're playing so once you're done capturing it it'll automatically be already set to go and tagged and organized and stuff now another nice feature of the software is flashback recording wait a second let me beat up john here for a little bit let me throw some kicks Oh no, he got me right in my head. Anyway, <laughs> fail. But anyway, another uh, cool feature of this software is flashback recording, which is basically it's going to act like a DVR. So you don't have to press the record button the entire time while you're gaming. The software will be doing that for you. So it'll kind of be recording everything in the background. But once you do find something cool uh, that you've done, uh, you can simply hit the record button and then um, actually just record that specific clip. So I can actually rewind here and go back to where he knocked me out. As it's rewinding, it's rewinding, it's rewinding, it's rewinding, rewinding, and it's going back, it's going back. All right, there we go. I had a long pause there. But anyway, I can go ahead and start recording right from here and go ahead and save that clip. And then after I'm done, I close down the software. It will erase that extra stuff that I haven't been using that it was recording the entire time. Now, you can turn this feature on and off depending on your storage needs, but I think it is a really nice feature to have. Then real quick over to the edit tab you can do some really quick um, editing with these videos you can basically just cut them and, and and split the videos where you want to again to kind of go ahead and do some pre-editing there and if that's all you want to do you can simply go over here and add this straight to YouTube Facebook Twitter you can email it your Apple TV iPad ProRes all this good stuff so you can send it directly to whatever you want to straight from this software so anyway guys I don't want to spend too much time on the software but the software is some of the best uh, game capture software that I've seen
All right, now it's time to take a look at some of the footage that I was able to capture with this Game Capture HD. Now, this device has been out for a few months now already by the time I'm doing this review, but I think this thing is great. I've used it for my Halo 4 review that I did and probably some other gaming videos that I've done um, since this thing has been released, and it's been awesome. You can tell by the video quality here on YouTube. This is all in 1080p um, HD, and this thing just looks really good. It looks amazing. It's able to capture everything, all the cool stuff you're doing um, in, the video, in the video game and keep it at its highest quality uh, for the most part. And Again, this does use H.264 encoding on the fly, and that really makes sure to keep the, the file uh, sizes as small as possible, uh, but still maintain the quality that you expect from it. And so the colors and the frame rate, everything really is up to snuff. And I think if you watch a lot of YouTube gaming videos, you probably see a lot of people using this device nowadays um, over the HAPOG HD PVR or something like that. One, because of its size, it's very small. You can put this really anywhere in your place that you need to record. Uh, two, it does a very, really good job. And, and three, the software is just pretty awesome. And uh, you combine all that with this awesome video quality that you can see here, uh, this thing is definitely a winner. All right, so as I wrap up this review, I'll keep some gameplay footage rolling for you so you can kind of just see the quality and that you can get with this thing. But I'm really impressed with the Elgato uh, Game Capture AC. And again, I've been using this thing for about four or five months now. And occasionally when I do need to record some gaming and things like that, again, for my Halo 4 review, this is the only thing I use. Um, this thing is pretty awesome. Again, the setup is a breeze. Uh, you don't have a ton of cables that you need to have around like you have with the HAPOG HD PBR. Um, just HDMI or the AV cables plugged in and you're basically set. So this thing, uh, again, takes takes a very small footprint on your electronic stand. Uh, doesn't take that much space at all. And so currently this costs $179.95, but I did check Amazon right before I did this video, and I think that is running about $159. So you'll definitely save about 20 bucks if you go the Amazon way. But either way, I think everybody would be pretty impressed with this, and it definitely is gonna be worth the money, especially if you're gonna be putting this thing to a lot of use. So again, this is the Elgato Game Capture HD. I can definitely recommend it. I give it a salute. And now before we end this video, I'm just gonna take one that's look at our sponsor for this video. Today's sponsor is Netflix. If you didn't know, Netflix can stream movies and TV shows to your TV set, your computer, your cell phone, your tablet via the Netflix application. It's also available on the Xbox 360, the PlayStation, Nintendo Wii. Almost everything now has a Netflix app for you to be able to watch all the TV shows and movies that you want to anytime that you want to. So if you want to go ahead and try out Netflix, you can go to netflix.com forward slash soldier and get your free trial membership. Again, that's netflix.com forward slash soldier. All right, guys, again, thanks for watching the video. Please leave a comment down below what you think about the Elgato Game Capture HD. If you have it, I especially want to hear what you think about it. Leave your comment down below. And thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.